So I'm pretty much gonna order one of everything on the menu. Ah, ah. Let me switch back with you. This is me stealing your sopa de lima. We are absolutely feasting. Just listen to the birds. Walking in Bayou de Lead is quite an adventure. We have four homemade sauces. Tacos de canasta. This is the tlalcoyo. Gordota de castacan. Well, now that I've destroyed it. And there's like really nice water falling down into the cenote, but we came up top to look. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I can see why this place is called La Silva, the forest. We just got the menu and I'm already gonna try their special soup. So I'm pretty much gonna order one of everything on the menu. <laughs> I approve of this plan. Hi, <laughs> Micah. I'm a happy camper. These are podcitos. They're kind of like taquitos. That is hot. They're cold, but they're Frenchy. Not bad. We don't have anything in them. They're just tortillas. So those are pretty good. Muchas gracias. All right, sopa de lima. Which is lime soup. Ooh, that has pepper in it. It's unlike any of the lime soups that I've had. It has, I think it has chipotle in it. It's actually really good. It's chicken and it has a little bit of spice. Try the caldo la selva. And here comes all the other stuff we ordered. <laughs> wow. Try this one. I already switched with you, huh? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Let me switch back with you. Oh, it has the same base. But this one um, has a lot of the same stuff except for it has the tree spinach and cheese. And it comes with, uh, what is it? Onions and avocado. Mm -hmm. Really good. I like the lime one better. But these are really good. Give me my soup bag. Put some chili in it. Panucho, chalupa, tostada, and um, a sope. Tostada. Mm, not good. It has beans and crunchy shell with chicken. I like it. This is the sope. This house special soup is amazing. This one has a really uh, thick masa outside with uh, beans and a different type of chicken, not shredded. Ooh, that's really rich. Has a little, little bit more spice than the crunchy taco. I mean, crunchy tortilla. That's the panucho. Which has uh, two tortillas and beans in the, that are put in the middle of them and smushed. This is me stealing your sopa de lima. Mm. Crunchy. It has the same shredded chicken as the tostada. So it has a little bit more in it. And this one, chalupa. This looks like it has uh, potatoes on it. Ooh, wow. That's similar to the sope, except for the tortilla is really crunchy. Rank them one to five. Um, chalupa, the sope. sope, the tostada, and then the Panucho? Panucho. <laughs> it would be hard for you to rank them one to five when there's only four there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. But they're all really good. I recommend doing this. Each one of those is 13 pesos a piece, which right now is about 60 cents. So we are absolutely feasting for just a few dollars. Just listen to the birds. Walking in Bayou de Lead is quite an adventure. It changes elevation more than some of the hikes we've been on. Today's lunch is Nana Nana. It's a little more expensive than some of the other places we've been eating. Just a little bit, but uh, it's right on 37 off of 42. Lena, Lena is short for Maria Lena. Yeah! <laughs> the owner explained to me that his mother's name is Maria Lena, just like my cousin. Hello, dear. Hi, Maria. <laughs> and this place is named after her. 
He also explained that the tlalcoyos that we're gonna get, they used to have those outside of the cantinas, but the women aren't allowed in the cantinas, so the, the lady would sit outside and cook those, and she'd make them really quick. And then they'd just throw what they wanted on to eat real quick and then go back into the cantina. And those are old school um, pre-Hispanic food. Always cool to be sampling pre-Hispanic stuff. The jamaica is a mix between ginger, rosemary, and hibiscus. It's gonna be fun to try it. We ordered two gordotas, and he said those are really big. We may have uh, outdone ourselves for over-ordering. Oh, I doubt it. What's new? Y uh, salsa matcha. We have four homemade sauces here. We have habanero with garlic, habanero with carrot, habanero with cilantro, and a triple chili mix with peanuts, sesame, and pumpkin seeds. You know I am excited as hell to try every single one of those sauces and a lot of them. And I'll try a little bit. And Jamaica. Okay. I taste the ginger, I don't taste the rosemary, and I taste the hibiscus. This is good. Salsa verde, zanahoria uh -huh. y col, <laughs> y jalapeño. <laughs> we did ask if he wanted to explain it on camera, and he said, no, he's camera shy, but he'll tell us. So we get the voice, but not, not the face. That's right, we got that face. And one of these is my favorite. I actually buy these by the cans and eat them. The carrots with the um, jalapeno, they're so good. Especially put them in the refrigerator, eat them as snacks. These are tacos de canasta, just a basket of tacos. We got a little, a mix of everything. There's potatoes and Port. This is the tlalcoyo, the thing they used to make outside. Oh, it looks amazing. So a big, massive masa under there with beans cooked into it and then covered in pork and salad. Wow. Oh, here comes more. Gordota de queso con guajillo. Gordota de castacán. Esta salsa es para bañarlas. Con esto se lo puedes arriba. Ok. Y luego le tiras eso. Okie dokie. Te lo bañas. Wow. Y luego <laughs> Gracias. Enjoy. Gracias. Provecho, amor. So real quick, this is a gordota de with cheese and chili guajillo. This one is a pork skin. Put the salsa on it, and then you put that stuff on it. All right. I'm gonna take a clue from this when I go home and cook it. The beans baked into the masa is fantastic with the onions and the crema and the cilantro. Oh. oh. This is really good. Am I on? Oh yeah, we're yeah. So first, we put the sauce on. Then, we put the onions and the cilantro. And then, Katie samples to see if that's burning hot or not. <laughs> oh, look at the cheese. Cheese and chili guajillo. Cheese and, wow, look at this. Ooh. And it's boiling hot. Oh, oh that's good. But it's not hot. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Well, we put that on it. And then this is the pork skin, pork bota. I can smell the pork skin. Oh my God, this food is good. Mm, that's hot. Oh, that is really good. Jesus, sorry. He's just throwing his food at me. Mm. Wow. I'm sure they're gonna be good. There are just five different flavors in it. And that cheese. Just simple. With the condiments on it. Those will be really good. But these are the star of the show. I'm just trying each one for flavor. This one. Okay, Joe. They do pork. Bean. <laughs> Keep shoving them in. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Mmm. Ooh, that's my favorite so far. And the last one. Looks like a chicken. Very good. All of this stuff. Seriously. Amazing. Oh yeah, this is really good. I love it because it's different. This place is a half block from our hotel. So glad we came down here. And these chilies, by the way, the sauces. Amazing. Um, but they are not kidding, it's habanero. The habanero and carrot chili is uh, not outrageously spicy, 
but the carrot really mellows it. Oh, you'd like that. That is really good. This guy is, he gets an A plus. It's creative, mm -hmm. it's delicious, and he's super nice. And he named the place after his mom, come on. We've been by it a few days now. For me, this is hands down the best tasting food we've had in the city. Riquísimo, muchas gracias. ¿Cuál fue el ganador? That is a buenuelo. It's a dessert that he brought for free. Buenuelo. Bun? Bun? Buenuelo. 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 Dessert. Well, now that I've destroyed it. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. It reminds me of when your my mom would make pie dough and then she would put um, cinnamon and sugar on it with uh, with leche with uh, crema, well, with uh, what's the name of the stuff? Come on, stop laughing. With cream. With whipped cream. This is really good. And there are the details for this place. All of that amazing. <laughs> That's my cousin, Maria Elena. We sent her a text and told her this place was named after his mom, Maria Elena. <laughs> All of that amazing food with that great special mica was 192 pesos. That's under $10. That is amazing. And it really tasted like it was a $25 meal. I love this place. <laughs> well, we're kicking around going to the cenote here in the middle of Valladolid, cenote Zesi. And there's like really nice water falling down into the cenote, but we came up top to look and the water is coming out of pipes. I mean, if nature made it okay, we can make it a little bit better, right? Each one of those is 13 pesos a peach. With... A peach. <laughs> it changes elevation more than some of the hikes we've been on. <laughs> Nina and Nena is short from Maria and Nene. I cannot talk today. I'm not sure if it's going to make the Brucal reels or not, but um, we're not doing good with English today, either of us. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe! No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>